the backpack. An idea so simple that even gaming brands make them. I'm talking Acer, Alienware, MSI, ROG, Aorus, like all of them. But Razer makes the best gaming backpacks on the market. Now that's a bold statement, but to get an understanding of the market, let's have a look at a few options from those brands I mentioned just before. Starting with the ASUS ROG Ranger backpack. This backpack has a hard plastic shell, durable exterior, a slightly padded back panel, and multiple pockets for organization, both internally and externally. The RGB strips and the power brick on the side just don't do it for me. Going in a different direction, the Alienware Horizon Travel Backpack is designed for airport travel that can fit laptops up to about 18 inches. The backpack has a weather-resistant fabric, EVA foam cushioning, and an internal anti-scratch lining. The MSI Mystic Knight Backpack is very uh, MSI. It's a functional roll top backpack that fits laptops up to about 17 inches. It has a relatively well padded back panel, but internally there's no thought of organization. All these backpacks are pretty good options if you're a fan of those brands. But Razer's backpacks stand on another level. To show you why, quick story time. In 2018, I was in San Francisco at the end of a school trip. I convinced one of the teachers to let us go to the Razer store. And being a 15 year old gamer, it was the highlight of my trip. It was then that I bought a Razer Rogue 15 backpack and some other Razer swag. I mean, just look at that drip. That backpack has gone through the roughs and was my old reliable. I took it sailing, traveling. It was there when I moved out of home and my first day of university. But after almost six years of daily use, I have decided to replace the backpack with this. The Razor Scout 50. As a university student, I will likely be carrying this backpack around for long periods of time, so it's important that it has padded shoulders. The backpack also comes with a well-padded, comfortable back mesh. I'm by no means a small person, and as you can see, the backpack fits me quite well. However, I have noticed that the horizontal shoulder straps cause the load to be incorrectly distributed on my shoulders when I'm wearing it. But it does come with adjustable shoulder straps and chest straps, which really help when I have to wear it on top of all my motorbike gear. Inside, the backpack has a well-protected, dedicated 16-inch laptop compartment. This is something I see overlooked a lot. I've found that most backpacks will have decent laptop protection from exterior impacts, but not many have protection from items that jump around inside the backpack. The main compartment is massive. With a 28 liter capacity, it's more than enough room for my textbooks, charger, stationery, and additional gear. Something I love is the thin slot that is the perfect size for loose sheets of paper and items you don't want getting scrunched up at the bottom of the bag. The small zippered mesh is a convenient spot for small things that you don't want to lose, like USBs. I've also found it's a good spot for my phone charger as it gets it out of the way of my books. Finally, the smallest external zippered compartment are found to be handy for items I'm reaching for often. Things like my phone, wallet, earbuds, and stationery. Now, this much stuff is absolute worst case scenario. Like this is what I would have to take if I had every single subject on. Since I've been using the bag, I haven't had to pack this much before. It's very heavy, but it's good to know that I can if I need to. I've been using the backpack for about a month and I'm very thankful for the sheer capacity and versatility of the storage in the backpack. Durability and protection are massively important to me. My experience with my previous Razer backpack gave me essential insight into Razer's weak areas and it's great to see how much they have improved. A big failure for me on my Rogue backpack was that the material on the top of the bag was stitched directly into the shoulder straps. This meant that when the backpack was loaded up, the material would pull on the straps and over time, the weather resistant material split on the very top of the bag. The structural webbing was still there, but it meant that all it took was the right drop of water to get directly onto my laptop and all of my papers. 
The Razor Scout 15 is wrapped head to toe in a lightweight, water and abrasion resistant material. Importantly, I can see that Razor has learned and moved all high stress points to positions that better distribute the loads and won't damage the external materials. I love the comfortable zipper pulls and the waterproof zipper tape. However, I am a big advocate for plastic zippers. Regardless of the quality of the metal or construction, metal zippers corrode and break. If you don't believe me, all we need to do is have a look at the sport of kite surfing. The backpacks in which the kites are stored have zippers on them. As you can imagine, these bags literally spend their time covered in salt water, salty air, and constant sun exposure. Every single new bag we buy that comes with a metal zipper starts corroding within the year. Two years and the zipper breaks. However, the bags that come with plastic zippers last years longer than their metal counterparts. My original Rogue backpack came with plastic zippers, and I would say they contributed massively to the lifespan of that backpack. But other great features on this backpack are the molly webbing on the front, as well as the very tall polyester side mesh pockets on each side. The thick abrasion resistant material on the bottom of the bag is a nice addition to reduce wear and tear from hard materials like concrete. Now, my biggest issue with gaming backpacks is just how obnoxious they are. Thankfully, the Razer Scout 15 has a minimalistic design with small Razer green accents. Now, the green straps on the back have mixed reviews. Personally, I like them, but more importantly, they stand out more than plain black, which I prefer since it's almost impossible to buy colorful motorcycle gear. So what should you get? If you're in a similar situation as me and are riding a motorcycle to university and need a versatile backpack, then without a doubt, the Razor Scout 15 is the backpack to get. However, if you are just after a backpack that is high quality, durable, and you don't ride a motorcycle, then I would recommend you get any of the new Razer Rogue V3 backpacks. They have multiple different sizes for all laptops and they have a lot of the same features that this backpack has. The difference is that you might find it has a little less wiggle room for larger bulky items, but I'd say the various pockets and organizational compartments make it a better university all-rounder backpack than this one. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then make sure to let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.